Do you want to play as the biggest baddie in the ocean? Get, get, get that shit out of here. Okay, as I was saying, do you want to play as the biggest baddie in the ocean? Well, look no further because this shark right here, this shoddy with a fatty will help you to victory every single game if you know how to play it. So that's what this video is going to help you in doing. Alright, before we actually get into the video segment of this video where I break down my gameplay to explain how I do the things that I do, why I do the things that I do, and how you can improve on your Hammerhead gameplay, let's get into some uh, myths that I've heard about the Hammerhead Shark and why I know that they are not true. Alright, myth number one, Hammerheads are slow. This is absolutely not true and most people can learn this just a little bit after going head to head with a very strong Hammerhead player. This is because Hammerhead is extremely fast with the stamina it has, although it gets its misconception because the stamina is absolute booty cheeks. It is like tied for the worst amount of stamina along with Tiger Shark or stamina management. But that does not mean that this isn't a fast shark with the stamina it does have. And then pair that with the evolutions like Hangry, Blood Frenzy, Adrenal Glands, or even the Hammer's main ability, and you're looking at a shark that will be zipping around the room like any speed shark. Myth number two, Headstrong helps you deal more damage to divers. Now, while you deal damage to divers by slamming them against walls and Headstrong helps you deal damage slamming against walls, they do not overlap and Headstrong is not attributed to the damage you deal to divers. Now that being said, Headstrong is not a bad upgrade for Hammer, in fact I have a whole video where me and Airwolf destroyed the diver team, and more specifically Steve, in about a minute and a half because of just the ability of Headstrong and playing Hammerhead. Now if you guys want to see that video, I'll have it uh, pop up at the end of this video as a recommendation so you guys can watch it then if you decide that it is something you're kind of interested in. Myth number three, open water bad. Now this is something I keep telling so many people and that is that just because Hammerhead excels in close quarters, it doesn't mean that it's really bad when it comes to divers who open water. Now I have a little clip here that I made not too long ago showcasing why I believe what I believe. Alright, so hopefully from that you guys are able to learn that Hammer actually can open water assuming you have a couple of abilities and you're somewhat experienced with the shark itself. But that being said, I think we're going to get into the next portion right before we get to the video where I kind of want to talk about some simple strategies or at least the core mechanics of Hammer and how you're supposed to utilize it. Alright, tip number one, attack early and attack often. This is probably one of the biggest things about Hammer. A lot of people try and go tactically with Hammer. I would say just go full out. Whenever you see a diver and it's like, all right, I might be able to kill him, just go for it and try to kill them. This is because Hammer is very heavily an early game shark and it excels in hitting the divers while they aren't able to have any of the counters that Hammer can usually encounter later game. So always be at the divers and try and put the pressure on them, make sure that they're not going out searching for gold and kill anyone that makes a small mistake. All right, tip number two, smash the divers long and hard. It is important to note that you have to smash them at the right angle, which is generally head on, and to bang them on the surface where your lunge has the highest amount of force. All right, my final basic tip for Hammerhead is don't be afraid to attack and also don't be afraid to sacrifice yourself. Now I know for a lot of sharks generally right as you're about to die you want to leave, go, grab a seal, and then return. For Hammerhead, while you can do that, that's not how the Hammerhead is meant to be played. It's meant to be played as a very hard hitting shark that just goes in aggressively, kills a bunch of divers, and then dies. And then just does that over and over again until the game is ended. 
Alright, now it's time for the final part of this video, which is the analyzing part. So we're going to be going through a video of where I play a match as a hammerhead and I basically explain to you why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and what I'm doing so that you can better improve your own hammerhead gameplay. Alright, so to start off the match with a hammerhead, you probably want to be lunging over to the divers instead of just sprinting. This is because a hammerhead is a pub stomper, and so you're going to want to get close to the divers as fast as you can and as often as you can. Now, as you can see, I got close to this diver who heard my heartbeats and decided not to go back to Steve. You don't want to be like this. So he's going to be punished and I'm going to grab him right out here. Now, since Hammer gets a lot of kills by smashing divers into walls and just smashing into walls in general, I want to position myself outside of this one tap wall. Because I'm a Hammer, I'm able to break through it immediately. And I shoot over to the diver that I've lined up against, smash him against the wall, he's dead. Now, I'm going to immediately turn to this next guy because I have a good angle. I'm able to shoot upwards with him in my mouth and kill him. And then I'm able to turn to the last guy, smash him against the corner of the wall, and then bring him down against the railing, and he dies as well. And because of this, we got a full diver squad wipe. And now it is time to go eat some seals and prepare for my next assault. Next, with my partner causing a pretty large distraction, I decide to shoot in and grab this guy, smashing him against the wall with a double slam so he dies immediately. Next, I miss this DPVer, but it's okay because I wait for him to circle back around, and I happen to notice that he goes right overlapping another diver, so I figure this is the perfect time to strike, because regardless if I miss one, I will at least grab the other. And because of this, I manage to get a sloppy grab, but I'm still able to kill him, and then move on to the next guy. Alright, now that I've died, I notice I'm able to get the powerful three, Hangry, Nimble, and Powerful Tail. These are three amazing upgrades for Hammer. Now let's go through them very quickly. Hangry is amazing because it allows you to get a whole infinite amount of stamina right off the bat once you respawn. This allows you to get back to the divers and back to the fight extremely quickly, which is incredible and exactly what Hammer is built for because it is a pub stomper. Next, you're going to want Nimble, because Nimble allows your lunges to go more frequently, basically less time in between them, which is also amazing because it allows you to get to the divers a lot faster. Lastly, there's Powerful Tail, and this is a phenomenal upgrade because it allows you to lunge with a diver in your mouth. And this is so good for Hammer because it allows you to basically grab the diver and then do what the Hammer does best, smash the diver against a wall with a shit ton of power and this also works if you happen to not grab them at a good orientation for your initial grab. Oh that's hot! That's hot! Now the next set of upgrades that we're gonna want to grab and we're gonna say this before we get back into the match is blindside and then the two hammer abilities. Now these are so important because the hammer abilities they help you regain your stamina and this is what allows you to zip around the room like a maniac because every time while well, your ability is active every time you smash against a wall your stamina will be regained and therefore you're able to just keep moving around the room slamming into walls over and over again quite like a mako and also, once you get the third iteration of this ability, you gain health along with stamina. So these two abilities are amazing to just grab. Now as for blindside, blindside is amazing for a whole different reason. And this is because while you're lunging when you have blindside, as you move your mouse, your shark does turn. So even in one lunge, you are able to do some crazy 360, not exactly 360, but you're able to do some crazy turns in order to grab divers, and it'll also throw them off because they do not expect you to be moving the way you do. This is also perfect for the actual only true counter of hammers, which is net guns, because they'll have a hard time hitting you. All right, now with all of those upgrades goddeded, yeah, yeah, yes, that's right, I just said goddeded, we're gonna be going after these divers and we're probably gonna be unstoppable. Now, here I decide to go in, destroy a pat because those things are absolutely devastating and you need to get rid of those ASAP. And then I see this guy who I decide to smash against the ceiling and then back again at the bottom of the structure before I escape. Now I have to do two slams in order to fully finish off his health, but it is actually pretty quick and with all the upgrades it is also quite efficient. 
I then lunge towards my next target, smash him against the uh, inner wall underneath the staircase, and since he didn't take too much damage, I need to deal a lot of damage. So I immediately turn around and do a lunge all the way to the other corner and smash him there. And this is because at a huge distance, as long as I'm going fast, it deals more damage for your slams when you're playing with Hammerhead. And then I notice that it's an easy way out, so I just lunge out and I look for my next attack. The next guy positions himself pretty easily, and while I don't get a good angle slam on the wall, I see that I'm able to smash him against the door, so I do that and immediately lunge out. Right after that, I notice this DP Veer, and while he's going a little too fast for me to grab initially, and I know he's already going to get in regardless, I wait for him to go out, which doesn't take that long, and so I decide to then miss my first lunge, not, not on purpose, and then I grab him on my second lunge, smash him against the railing, and he becomes past tense. After this, I notice I have uh, pretty low health and my ability is still active, and if you guys remember, you gain health every time you smash against a wall when the ability is active. So I smash against the wall once, fortunately that's all it takes for the ability to no longer be active, so I gain a little bit of health. But I notice that the shark shield has been placed by the divers, meaning I'm not able to see the divers anyway, so I decide to heal by finishing off some seals while I'm waiting for it to be done. I noticed then for my next attack that a pet has been placed and I wanted to destroy this ASAP and waste the diver's money. Now a silly little diver also decides to swim right next to the pack, so it's a 2 for 1 special, destroy the pet, kill the diver, swim out. I then see this next diver and I decide to smash him perpendicular against the wall which deals a shit ton of damage with the force that I'm hitting him with. But then this next guy over here shoots me and I'm not able to finish him off before he gets the kill on me. Alright, now the divers are in open water while Steve is moving and basically the best way to grab these divers and kill them is to shoot upwards because it is the nearest surface when these divers are open water right around here. So I decide to do that with the next two divers before I get killed by the third. Alright, now they place a pat in the final location, so I decide to break through the wall, go for the pat, and since a diver swam right next to it, I'm also able to grab him. They really make this easy for me. And then I grab the next guy and the next guy, and I'm able to kill them both before the final diver kills me. This causes the last real diver to DC, meaning we're now going up against a team of bots. So my teammate kills the last bot, and we win the game. Alright, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. Maybe something that you can take away to help improve on your Hammerhead gameplay. Now I know that that kind of stuff helps me out, so I figure that this might be pretty useful and I haven't really seen that much out there other than Vertroyer's guides. Um, but that being said, as promised, I will link a video of the dual Hammerhead Headstrong win um, at the end of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.